Welcome back to Word in a Shop, guys. Uh, it's uh, December 7th, 2013, and here's what has been going on. Actually, not much. Not much. Things are getting less and less active around here, it seems like. Uh, but it's not to say that I don't have anything to show you. Uh, Sierra number 32 and the three posed together. Took them to Just Trains the other day and ran them on the layout there. Got the three up to her uh, occasional speed of probably around 100 miles an hour, <laughs> something like that. Is uh, she runs so little now, you know, especially at full speed that you know sometimes she just got to let her loose. So yeah, the 32 I had to take very very slow because she does not operate as smoothly as the three does. So I ran her at a scale speed of around 15 or 20 miles an hour tops. A short freight train, that was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my camera to film. Uh, so you're just going to have to try and imagine it. Although I will be showing more videos of the 3 and 32 operating hopefully soon. I'm going to take the engines and hopefully Shea number 12 down to the Black Diamond Lines, uh, Model Railroad Society in An uh, Antioch and uh, hopefully run on the layout for New Year's and I will film that. Uh, hopefully I'll have a couple of my other projects done by then. Um, one of the projects that I'm working on, I've been talking about on the Facebook a little bit lately, is CR Railway's baggage car, baggage mail express car number eight, uh, which was built in 1908 as a combination coach. Um, but was converted around 1913 to full baggage mail and express service and which is the appearance I'm modeling it in of course model 1929 you gotta have it uh, in the appearance it was at that time so it's actually oh my god this car looks huge uh, some of you may be wondering if this is a kit or not uh, no this is a scratch built car I'm surprised it got this well done already I've only been working on it for a few days and this is my progress. I'm working on the roof right now. You can see I've started laying the first panels in place. And uh, this is my previous attempt at building that car. It's This is a label kit, a former label kit that I rearranged the siding panels and cut the windows and whatnot. I didn't like it all that much and I know it's not scale uh, so I decided to go and take a look at uh, my drawings and measurements and photos everything I needed to get all my resources to do this and uh, this is how it is so far it's not perfect by any means but it's a lot better than that LaBelle car that I tried to build uh, and I expect this car to be you ready for use uh, on, on a train I expect it to be ready for use uh, around New Year's so hopefully I'll have it ready for the run at Antioch behind number 32 or number 3 and a passenger train uh, it'll it should be painted by then this is a very simple car that's why it's only taken me a few days to make it this you know get this far on it so so yeah that's what I have so far and I'm just Still in work in progress, but I'm working on it almost full time, and it should be ready for New Year's. So keep I'll keep you posted on that, and I'll post pictures when I can. Uh, again, not a whole lot has been going on with the 32 uh, or the 3, although I'm considering doing a few more things, a few more small details on both of them. Uh, one thing that I had added recently is the fireman side check valve. Uh, even one small detail can add, you know, a ton of difference. And uh, another thing was I replaced the fireman side cab running board, the lowest running board here. That is now made of brass instead of styrene because the old styrene ones, they have a tendency to sag. Uh, so I decided to go and cut myself a metal one and I remounted the air tank and the cab and everything on it and it, it works fantastic it's a lot straighter than it was before and then the three 
nothing at all new with that locomotive. I really need to get back and do some more detail work. I'm thinking of uh, re-nickel plating the rods again uh, because I got some uh, acid uh, flux on them not too long ago and uh, kind of took the uh, plating off. So I got to go and clean them up and do it again. And the other day I went to Niles Canyon Railway and it just happened to be in the area so I stopped by for a couple of hours, talked to the folks there and climbed all over Pickering number 12 to get measurements of the cab. And I'll keep the frame on that drawing for a little bit so that you guys can get the measurements if you want them. Uh, just pause the video and then take a look. But yeah, I measured the cab for Shea number 12 and I'm going to start building it and soldering it together. Uh, pretty soon hopefully and uh, I because the cab is the only major item that I still need to do on the locomotive once I get the cab done I'll be able to go and get it ready for paint and I mean there's a few more things that I still need to do but overall the boiler shell is shaped and done uh, just need a headlight and a headlight bracket put the smoke front on smoke box front on and uh, get the cab done and everything will pretty much be ready for paint and then it's only small details that I'll need to do in order to get it ready for New Year's but I'm looking at that project for my third Pickering Sierra you know locomotive from the late 20s uh, and I'll have another Aero Steam locomotive so uh, keep an eye on that uh, 30s uh, the Sierra number 30s boiler is uh, right here Yep, it's uh, the it's all shaped. It's been uh, shaped correctly. It, that part is done. I still have to upload the video of me building the boiler, uh, which I did film on request. Uh, I'll get to that eventually. But uh, here's the completed boiler, uh, the boiler shell anyway and I need to do the boiler straps I need to make the domes and the smokestack and then I'll be ready to paint it pretty much uh, but that's all that's going on with the 30 project right now it actually it's pretty much uh, stopped because I have a few other parts a lot of parts actually I need to do I need to build the cab I need to build the tender and uh, get the actual frame for the locomotive and whatnot uh, before I can move on so it's not you know a low priority but uh, it's uh, just at a standstill for the moment here is a narrow gauge and short line gazette drawing of the car that I'm scratch building Sierra number eight this drawing is actually not correct there are several items that are not at all correct uh, so it's a good thing that I have a few other references uh, it gives you an idea of what the car will look like you know if you try to build it but there's still a few things that uh, are a bit wrong with this drawing so if anybody wants to use it uh, it's drawn by Gary Caviglia in the Narrow Gauge and Short Line Gazette take caution with the uh, with the look of the car, here's what it looked like as built. Uh, one thing on this drawing I particularly noticed is a closed vestibule, which this car did not have on that end when it was built. Did not have a closed vestibule. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's uh, the narrow gauge and short line gazette drawing of car number eight. And here is a CSRM drawing of the car it's way more detailed uh, it's pretty intricate a lot of measurements there uh, so yeah well, anyway sorry about this word in the shop there's really nothing new to show you because I've been working lately so I haven't had as much time to do anything uh, except uh, this project here so keep uh, checking back the Facebook for this because this will be the only thing I really update about uh, for the next month or so uh, but uh, yeah I'll do another holiday edition of Word in the Shop and uh, just 
keep checking back guys and I'll see you next time